I'm Elizabeth Condress. I have been collecting Barbie since I was nine years old. This is only a quarter of my collection. My dream one day is to have a museum, have everything opened up, all the houses and the cars, and have everything set up, not just a quarter. I've been asked which my favorite one is, which is really difficult because I do have my ones from childhood, plus the first one I bought myself, and ones you find in interesting places. The major draw was the fashion. If you look at Barbie over the years, it's a huge uh, picture of the changes in fashion over the decades, and it's fascinating. I have a pink silhouette boxed dolls which were store display salesman samples, uh, not generally for the retail. Uh, those are quite valuable. I have a side part Japanese issue which was American Girl from 1965. She's never been touched. I have the 1964 Barbie airplane by the Irwin Toy Company for Mattel and that's very rare. I've only ever seen one and it's the one I have in my collection. A um, few other things. Barbie's hot rod. She had a speedboat. She had a grand piano in the 60s. A really fancy one. She still changes with the fashion, but she is also now with the younger generation. The, she makes movies, so now there's movie dolls, and they do things. They light up or they sing, and that's relatively uh, a newer thing. The vintage ones did not do that. It was a doll you bought in a bathing suit, and you would buy clothes to dress. Now you buy a doll with an outfit. You want another doll, another outfit. You buy them together. It's very difficult to get clothes by themselves. They're sort of all themed more so now than they were. Mattel had no idea that Barbie would be an icon that she is today and that there would be so many collectors, but there are still a lot for the children to play with.